Hopefully it doesn't turn into Brussels sprouts. Molly. Molly comes over and it's like, Brussels oh. Sprouts? I don't think they're going to turn into Brussels sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> I think that might even be close to impossible. But. Might get ugly. We don't have time to screw around. What do we do? I will not be the last thing on that table. We're sizzling over here. Best one yet? For sure. <laughs> oh, 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 no, <laughs> I swear we're only going because people feel bad. Because in the comments of YouTube, people are like, how come Claire never travels? I have a conspiracy, that's the only reason. Is that a conspiracy? I have a theory. That's why we're going to Denver. So the question is, not what kind of pie, but how many pies? Oh, Carla. Oh my God. Sorry, it's a question for the agent. Three. Yes. And also, take a vote, who loves pumpkin? Got <laughs> it. You don't like pumpkin pie at all? I. I, it's not my favorite. No, it's mm. so underwhelming. Whose favorite is well, probably maybe this is a great opportunity. Love it. Say it. Challenge it's accepted. So good. Even when it's like just my family, and I like I'm the fussy one with desserts, not surprisingly, but like I'm like I refuse to choose. So even when it's like five people for Thanksgiving, I make three pies. <laughs> right. Great. And what are they? Great. Apple, so what are they? pecan. Yes. And, and pumpkin. pumpkin. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, those are the three. Okay. Those are yeah. the three. Right. That's Apple, all you need. pecan, and pumpkin. Yeah. So yeah. how does pumpkin win in that scenario? I would take pumpkin in. Why? Because you don't. It's just it's, so classic. It's and it's things, never like, anywhere, anywhere else but Thanksgiving. Yeah. 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 And I, I grew up, it was my favorite. I used to get in trouble for eating too much of it. And <laughs> so I good. loved it. Cold out of the fridge, uh, little oh my God. slivers. Yes. Yes. What does Brad getting in trouble for eating too much pie look like? Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> probably a wooden spoon, I don't know. Um, it could be like a pumpkin like with a pecan top, mm -hmm. but I don't necessarily want it, like just to get the beets in there, I don't necessarily want to compromise like it doesn't. The experience. Hy is hybridizing it really right. better? Right. I don't You're know. Really getting oh, no, we, could, we could play around. That sounds because so good. Because the surface of pumpkin pie is like nothing is happening, Whatever. and yeah. the the only good part of pecan pie is, is the, the top. top. Pumpkin pie with, with that? pecans on top. Yeah. Can you do yeah. anything else with that filling? Like, nope. is it spiced? Is it oh, interesting? Yeah. Well, yeah, like I said, I'm not a, a huge dessert guy, but I love pie. I actually, um, I actually won a pie competition one time. Um, <laughs> I remember. I make. I'm sorry. Make a pie make. Judging eating. <laughs> no, took first place. It would be a, it would be a fun thing to work on. You would have worked with me on it. I would love to. Claire. I just claimed it. Sorry, no one pointed <laughs> me. I just nominated well, no, myself. I mean, it, it, it kind of makes sense. It's my, right? favorite, it's my favorite thing yeah. to make. So I mean, please. he did already get in trouble for eating too much pie, so it yeah. just feels like right. that dynamic. Right. Right. I would like right. to. Feed I would like to feed Brad too much bit. pie. Yeah. Yeah. You can hit him with the wooden spoon. Oh, that's right. Wrote it with the envelope. Oh, Jesus. I don't know. They like this. had Rhoda tell us because they knew I wouldn't get mad at Rhoda. What, did we win an award? Exactly right. <laughs> That's why, right? right? Am I being served? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you guys know so far? That we're going to Denver and we're there okay. for two nights. Claire, there's always a choice. <laughs> that you have to make two pies by 4 p.m. tomorrow because we've entered you into a pie contest. Oh, my God. In Colorado. Who is flying with the pie? You. Wait, when is the contest? Thursday. By 4 p.m. tomorrow, we have to have developed the perfect Thanksgiving pie recipe and make two additional pies. No, just two. What's the prize? Wait, what? what? Do we win? Oh, first place, $100. It's $100. Yeah, $100. <laughs> Boy, you guys can we're in it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's about the prize. And it's we about the bragging win. rights so at the it's fair. 50 you each. You know where there's uh, the best pie making competitions in the world? We gotta go to Denver. <laughs> That's where they're at. Let me know what I need to help you guys. We're making pumpkin pie. We already decided that. No, look, Claire, but that's not a pumpkin pump, pie. But a pumpkin pie doesn't have a lid. But hold on, you're, you're telling, you want me to enter in a pumpkin pie during a summer pie contest with all the other summer <laughs> fruit? It's never gonna win. I'm entering a sour cherry pie. That's what I'm making. Wait, Red, it says unlabeled or incorrectly labeled items. I'm getting this will be disqualified. No doubt. Claire, good luck. I'm gonna go walk around and get it, like an Italian ice. Brad, but you did one time win a pie contest. I do hold a, a, a pie winning belt, that's, that's true. All right, Claire. All right, read them off, Brad. Kind of got a little bit of a curveball with the whole uh, competition in their fruits and all. Yeah. But um, regardless, we're all we're all gonna be winners on this one, right? Let's just make Brad. the perfect pie for us, and we're, we're gonna present it. And if we win, we win. If we don't, we don't. All right. So let's just focus on what we want to do with the, making the perfect pie for Thanksgiving. Yeah, Brad. Right, let's focus. All right, fuck us. Read them okay. off. Okay, pecan. Pecan. Pecan praline. Hate it. What I took away from the round table was the idea of pumpkin pie filling with the top 
of a pecan pie, yeah, which yeah, sounds yeah. so great, yeah, yeah, so yeah, delicious. All right, I'm glad we're back on that. Okay. Bourbon, yeah, we're gonna need it. Yeah, bourbon I love. Full blind bake, yeah, yeah, yeah big time. Big time. Especially with a pumpkin pie. Because we know we're doing a single crust. Soggy bottom, yeah, no soggy bottom. No soggy bottom, full blind bake to avoid a soggy bottom. Sweetener. That's a question mark. It's like, what kind of sweetener? Do we want brown sugar? Do we want maple? Ooh, I like a little maple, maybe a little brown sugar too. Okay, well, we'll save, I we'll like save, a combo. Yeah. Libby's for sure. Yeah, Libby's is gonna save our lives. We don't have time to like exhaustively test every crust under the sun. Right. I think we should use a tried and true pie crust that we have. That we like. flaky, buttery. Yeah, because I did one for this deep dish apple pie a couple years ago, and then that crust recipe got used in a lot of different like additional okay, pies. Like, I think rye flour could be a really nice that'd be flavor. Fun. I like that. It's like really nutty and savory. Yeah. So let's just try that. All right, so the base pie, you know, is the one that you said it, we, we used a bunch with, uh, it started with the apple pie. Yeah. Oh, Rick, man, Rick! He used it with, um, with his blueberry pie, which was fantastic. I mm -hmm. remember that. Well, let's make the dough first so we can say we can get that into the fridge. Yeah. Do you want to incorporate some rye flour into this version? I think, I think we should. I think, I we think should it'll too. add a nice little nuttiness to it. Yeah. So it's three and a half cups flour total. I think we should do a half cup rye. Shout them right out when you know. All right, half cup rye, three cups all purpose flour. This is not sound measuring. No, it's not. Well, I hate measuring out of a bag, all right? Here, look, this is what we're gonna do. Ah! The whole thing, all right? We're gonna make this real easy for everyone. There's a whole bag. Use this. Ooh, that's, yeah. That's, yeah, this, use this. This, this is local, better. this is from New York State. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for bringing the goods, Rick. Yeah, thanks, Rick. Yeah. We'll bring it back. I got right. Rick's here. Okay. Yeah. Two tablespoons of sugar? Yeah. Now, the butter is kind of the foundation of this, yeah? The butter we have is the Vermont Creamery cultured butter, mm -hmm. unsalted. And right. what I love about the cultured butter uh -huh. is that it adds a nice, like, nutty, big flavor. And, like, a little tang. Yeah, yeah especially with an all butter crust, we want, like, you want some a, flavor. a flavorful butter. Yeah. And I also like this one because this butter has a pretty high fat content. Well, the higher fat content just makes like a flakier, more tender crust. We were told that the crust is very important for this competition. It's half the battle. It's it like the bread of a sandwich. It has to be the perfect pie. We're gonna just chill this to firm it up because it's a little bit soft. It's kind of been sitting at room temp for a bit. I think different sized pieces of butter are very important for pie dough because it's that irregular texture that gives you all those great like layers. So we wanna chill it down. So let's use some of this ice water. Just cover the ice. Just gonna chill it out. And then we'll measure from there. All right, so we're just gonna set this aside and let the vodka chill. The alcohol in vodka helps to hydrate the flour and give you a workable dough, but gluten only forms in the presence of water. So the less water you add, the less gluten, the more tender your crust. So the idea of vodka uh -oh. is you just get something more tender when you use it as the liquid. All right, firm enough. Okay, so butter goes in. This is a good thing to do with two people because you want to quickly smash in the butter into pieces. So then I like to leave some pieces kind of big. A little lumpy. Do you want the largest pieces of butter about the size of a pea? I leave them a little bit bigger than that. It goes fast with two people. Okay, this feels good. Okay, ready? Just drizzle? Yep. All right, this is fun. Keep going. So the idea here is we're trying to add as little liquid as possible to bring this together. This is just a way of avoiding overhydrating the whole thing. That little bit of rye really does change the color, right? Yeah, and that'll also change how the flour hydrates too. Yeah. But we're good. We're ready to wrap it up and chill it. Well, it feels it feels good. So you put it into a square so that when you roll it or out. Or a rectangle, but just with like squared off edges. And but then it's not rolling out, it helps. Yeah. So when I put it into the plastic, I like to use a rolling pin or sometimes just the heel of my hand to flatten it and like force it into all the little nooks and crannies of the plastic. I think that it helps to bring the dough together into one piece so it's easier to roll out and it just, I think, also forces the flour to hydrate more evenly. It's good that you see these little areas of butter too. You want those discrete butter pieces. It's all right, cool, sign. I'll pop this in the fridge. Filling, fly in the Libby's. Flying in the Libby's, the classic. Look at that, perfect. Let's just make that clear. Libby's is just such a great canned product. Yeah, and I it, see it, no reason to make your they own. They did the hard work already in a way, and it's also July. It's already strained, it's like super smooth, low water content, so it makes an excellent pumpkin pie filling. And my thought was that we should just use the famous pumpkin pie recipe on the back of the Libby's can as our base. <laughs> Basically the proportions in a custard filling is like, yeah, like how much dairy, how much egg, how much sugar, how much we'll spice. We'll make some little altercations, right? Alter alterations? What did I say? Altercations? <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Oh, that's it. Yeah, it smells good. We have the one can. This is just the pumpkin. And some eggs. And some eggs. I want to enrich it with an extra yolk. Just the yolk. Sometimes pumpkin pie can read like it's just baked puree. And super important in a pumpkin pie. The slice. You have to slice it. It yeah. has to be able to hold the slice. It needs a point. It needs a point. Can't droop. 
Straight sides. I'm not yep. looking for a, mm, no. Yep. I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. Right in. Seems like so much, right? Yeah, it does seem like a lot. It's gonna be a loose filling. Cardamom is pretty strong, so maybe just a half teaspoon of that. Yeah. So the recipe calls for one teaspoon of ground ginger. I'm gonna add a teaspoon, so that'll make two total. Go ahead and add that. Then two teaspoons cinnamon. Yeah. So that's old, that's a quarter teaspoon total. Let's keep na uh, maple for the pecans on the top. Okay, I like that. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's good. You mix that up. I'm gonna grab ramekins for us to test okay. the, the filling. Oh wait, you know what we didn't add is nutmeg. Do you want to add a little nutmeg? Oh, big time. Stop everything. Just Bridge. to be clear, we are not showing up with a cherry pie, right? Oh, yes we are. Oh, really? Yeah, we are. I don't oh. want to make a cherry pie. I got it, Brad. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, half teaspoon of nutmeg. Oh, that is it, man. It is good. But I used to get in trouble for eating too much pumpkin pie. <laughs> really? My mom used to have to make two because I would eat it like nonstop. Really? Like after, I'd be, like four times, I'd be, I'd be sneaking in, getting the cold out of the fridge. Do you always just cut off a little sliver from little the, ch -ch 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's like, who ate half the pie? It was bread. We should focus, save the rest of the filling unbaked, focus on right. the pecan. Because this tastes awesome as is I think raw. it's gonna be delicious. Let's bake it like you were saying, see if we're happy, if we want to tweak this. Yeah. And then once we're happy with our base, then we can, like you were saying, we could um, fool around a little bit with the pecan. So we should also probably start toasting some pecans. Yeah, I'll do that. Filling. Okay, great. Delicious. There you go. A little more salt. But maybe we do a little salt at the end. Maybe a little black pepper. What is with you and the black pepper? Just a little. Wait. Mm. Okay, so it's been a half an hour. This guy is ready to come out. The, so the edges are puffed. It probably baked a little bit hot. Here, pull it on the table. TBH. Well, we should point out, look, on the outside, the, like, the outer ring is starting to like set up firm. Yeah. And I it even rose a little. I think this baked too hot. Too hot? So we have to wait for this to cool a bit more until we can taste it. But we had a thought earlier about how we're going to basically do this pecan topping on, on the pumpkin. Yeah. Oh, that yeah, nice. that works. Yeah. Okay, so the idea is to achieve something like this and then put it back in the oven. So it's going to be a, a tricky thing about timing. It's like, at what point do we pull the pie out and put the pecans on? I think I underbaked it. A little bit. Oh, well, we'll just taste from the edge. It overbaked and underbaked. Yeah, this is no good. <laughs> at least we can taste it. Oh, my God. The outside, where it's actually, like, nicely... I love the edges of it. Mm. Glad we went with the cream. Mm. Okay, so this is the crust. It's chilled. A chilled in the fridge. It hasn't been a full two hours. It's maybe maybe even more like an hour and a half. But you can see how much it's firmed up. Like it was a softer dough when it went in, and now everything's hydrated. This is like a dramatic transformation in texture, which I think also has a lot to do with the yeah. vodka. Yeah, so this is enough for two crusts, so I'm gonna cut it in half. Okay, so now I'm gonna roll it out and I wanna make it into a nice long slab. So I think for a nine inch pie plate, I like to go to about 12 or 13 inch round. So this looks good. And now it's getting soft. We'll see if I can get it. Little roll up method. Roll it onto the pin. We got to it All right, that's right. We can pat, this is very forgiving. No, I mean like you can patch it, oh, right? Oh, eh, yeah, no. to, a, to a certain extent. <laughs> okay, never mind. So I'll have lots of overhang that I can work with. I think the important thing about pie, when you put it into the plate, is like let it slump. Don't don't stretch it into the bottom. So now I cut around about a half inch of overhang. This is weird dough. I think a lot of it is the rye. Rhoda's telling me to crimp it, and I kind of agree with her. We have to impress, you know? Right. It's not a very extensible dough or elastic dough, so it's well, that's like... that's exactly what we were trying not to achieve. I know, but it's also like worried about it falling apart in the oven and having no structure at all. Just crumble out. Yeah. Before we bake this, I'm gonna freeze it to like set it okay. in place. I'm gonna do what you did there. So we also have a dough, same same as the one you just made, just without without rye. Right, and this one was all ice water, not vodka. Cool. <laughs> I kind of like the idea of bourbon, or what if it's rye? And I like the idea of rye in the filling and rye. It's like a double rye pie. Double rye pie. Sure. Uh, hello. That's a really good idea. But you got to use rye whiskey, not bourbon. Yeah, that's what I said. Oh. <laughs> I really wasn't paying attention. Sorry. You're in dough land. Yeah. Well, you folded it. You folded it under the lip. You told me to do that. I meant under itself. I was like, wow, that's going to be hard to clean and slice. <laughs> yeah. But Claire knows what she's talking about. I'll do it. <laughs> 
pop that in the freezer? In the freezer. I like the freezer to like really... Shock it cold? Yeah. So our pie crusts are in the freezer. They need about 10 minutes to chill. Mm -hmm. uh, you like to do that before you bake them. Yeah. In the meantime, let's make another another mixture or another filling mixture. Everything's the same except we're having the cloak because it's a little too present. We're adding a little bit more brown sugar because I think the whole thing could use a touch more sweetness. We're also adding a quarter cup of rye whiskey. Salt. Oh, we have the salt. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Okay. That's a nice looking filling. We're gonna bring in our two frozen lined pie plates. Now we're setting up for a blind bake. What's what's the blind bake all about? There's a lot of technique in this in these steps. So first we bake it weighted because you know that butter wants to puff up and make the crust really flaky. Oh, these are dried beans. Where are the the bulbers here? Oh my god, this is a nightmare <laughs> waiting to happen. <laughs> oh no. Stainless steel ball bearings. Just dump them all in. I'm doing that. Here, let me get the door for you. Okay, thanks. Okay. 20 minutes later. Let's check. <laughs> okay, it's it's looking a little weird, huh? This is the rye crust with the vodka. This crust is not right. There's something weird about it. It's like the lack of water. Just nothing is happening the way it should. So I'm taking out the weights, and then I'm putting it back in at around 350. Look at your flaky crust. Hold on, I can't see yet. Oh yeah, God, it looks so good. Look at the flakes. Flakage. We'll put these back in. So I set the timer for 10 minutes, we'll check it. Check it. Kinda wanna take a little egg wash. Oh Christ. I brush it <laughs> on the bottom. On the bottom? And then put it back in the, the oven. The top of the bottom. Actually to like create like a, a shell? like a watertight barrier with the, bot with the filling. Okay. It's actually, I think, at a good stage of baking. It's kind of golden. So the thing we're testing is just a little egg wash over half of the dough. And this in theory was, so you want that to bake onto it yeah, so and we're form gonna, like a shell? Yeah, so I'm going to put it back in the oven for a few minutes so that sets. And you want to do the same thing on the other one? On the other crust? Sure. Oh yeah. Here, let's... Uh, Whoa, what are you doing? I just have to poke a little hole for steam to escape and now you can uh, get, hit it with the egg. Okay. I would maybe dab. Saturate that. Yeah, just so the flakes don't come off. Nice, I think it's gonna be good. Okay. Oh wow. Like look at this, like this. I like that. You know, it's like it's like sealed. I like that. Right? Makes sense, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna pour in and like look at right there. That's a little bit of a crack. So the egg wash is just like seals everything up. I like it. You wanna pull yours out and pour them in together? Sure. Beautiful crust bread. They both look so we great. got a little leftover. That I often happens. I love the flakiness on the crust. Yeah, the side of your crust looks so good. You gotta really gently transfer it. Nice moves. Some people pour the in the oven. Yeah, but I don't like to do that. I think it lets out too much heat. All right, who knows how long this is gonna take? So we had our maple coated nuts that we toasted up last time. Yeah. Um, and we you know, a little butter, some brown sugar. But it was kind of like separated. It wasn't, we're like, we want that like coated, nice, you yeah. know, candied. Um, it's like an airy crunch. And you mentioned whipping a little, whipping some egg whites with mm -hmm. some sugar, with, with the sugar. Yeah, there's like a quick method for candying nuts. Kind of like, like, a, like you would start a meringue, but no, we're not mm -hmm. gonna bring it to peaks. Right. The brown sugar and the, and the egg whites. Yeah, I thought it could be a good way to. All of it? Yeah. Oh yeah. That looks good. I feel really good about that. All right, this pie is ready, Brad. <laughs> oh, heavens, it looks. All the way to wobble. But that's, that's the wobble that, we that, want. That's a wobble, yeah. Whoa, so now little we're... crackage, but that's OK. Well, it's going to settle, but that's whoa, whoa, whoa. why. Whoa, whoa, Why don't we turn the oven off and let it rest in there? I no, love no, no. That. Hello, we got to do this. Oh, yeah. I would like push them in a little. No, I think I want them to settle on top. Okay, fine. I'm okay, just, you just do yours. Go. I'll do mine. My okay, this is gonna go back into the oven. No one cares. Okay, so my pie went back in the oven with the pecan topping. Your pie needs a little more time before it gets set. It's probably yep. just a difference in oven temp. So my pie finally got to the right temperature. We got the the right amount of just. It's like you're saying you don't want that rippleage. You just want a little bit of, of wiggle. It went over. You think? <laughs> yeah, that's okay. No, we got wiggle. It's gonna carry, I think it's fine. All right, what if it doesn't work? Yeah. 
I hope it works. Yeah, so I think that it's done because the tops of these are dry. So I turn the oven off and I'm gonna let it just cool with the door open, which will prevent big cracks from forming. And now all eyes on bread. Oh, you're really pushing them in there. I feel like if we were gonna <laughs> enter this into a pie making competition, like we should have done yeah. like a cool design. I was the... thinking that, but that just feels so like not us. We can add a little more crowd. I think maybe around the, yeah, yeah, maybe around the edges. No, no, no. Ah! Like I wasn't picturing necessarily a lot of the pumpkin from poking through, but I suppose it's up for interpretation. So our pies are basically done. We feel really good about basically all the components. Tomorrow will just really be about seeing how they all come together. But we do want to set up a dough so that we can really get started first thing tomorrow morning and get these pies baked because we got to get on a plane with them. We don't want them to be hot. I was saying about yeah. everything, right? Except we're changing. No more vodka. No more vodka. It bowl. looks better than the last one. Yeah, I agree. So pop that in the fridge. Yep. We can pull our pies out of the oven. I think we should pull them, yeah. In Look at the that. Look at those flaky layers. Oh my God. Uh, I think yours needed more time, Brad. More time? What, the nuts? Why are they dry? No, they're not dry. Yeah, see what mine is like. You wanna bring it over here? I did have more of the mixture. Yeah. Should I throw it in more? No, I think, I think it's cooked. I mean, I think it's, I don't think you'll be able to go back. I kind of like the look of this one. I like that too. With a better a crust, I think it'll, it'll do that sort of puffing and okay. it'll get a really nice So uh, yeah, look. take the crimp. If you couldn't throw this on a table and be like, so, looks like my kid made it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's let these cool mm. overnight. We'll test them, we'll try them out tomorrow. Wait, hold on. I just ate that. It's okay. really good. All right, so I feel really good about tomorrow. And uh, yeah, we'll see you then. I hope you're ready to eat pie at 9.30 in the morning. Yeah, it's pumpkin pie, who cares? Right, we'll see. Have you had breakfast yet? Uh, I had an English muffin. We have to eat some pie. Okay. Yeah, well, what? so I left mine on the speed rack. Yeah, so I left mine in the oven because I was, my concern is that those nuts on the surface are gonna pull moisture from the air because they're so sugary right. and get kind of sticky. A little soggy. So I, I stored mine in the oven just for humidity control. That's a good test. Oh, you on. grab that one, I'll grab this one. Okay. Wait, this oven is on. Is it, oh my God, bro. Oh, it's been on 425 oh for 30 God. minutes. <laughs> Oh my god. Sabotage! Oh my god. I would never sabotage. Woo. No, I put your, your pie in that one. Just this morning. Right, right here. Right oh no, the lower one. Oh Andy, my put your god. pie in the oven. Oh. God, I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> so pretty. Yeah, yours is way better looking. Okay, cool. Wait, look how beautiful. Oh, no, it's great. I love it. Don't cut it, we're bringing it to Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the crust is kind of messed up. Wait, I think they both look better because- Sorry, You're like a very nice like mom. Like you say both your kids are good. Mine's clearly not oh, as good. Oh, okay. But. That's an acceptable way to compare me to a mom. But aren't we making two pies again or no? Just one. Yeah, but I don't they have to be the same. But we're not bringing pumpkin pie to the competition. Yet. Yes, we are. I thought we were bringing cherry pie. We're bringing both. <laughs> we're bringing, you can't submit two. Yes, you can. But we're two people. Oh, I need you orders. to enter with your own. You want me to die? Do you want me to take a loss? <laughs> so you can shine with the cherry no, pie? No, but I'm saying, I'm saying, I think that. Claire, what's, you changed. <laughs> I'm saying that what's going to happen is, whichever one you enter with, you're probably going to win. It's like when we made sourdough and your bread turned out better. Oh, I see what you're doing there, Claire. You know, I'm a little slicker than that, all right? You're gonna like look at that and like throw it in the garbage and yeah. say, nice try. Okay. Well, that looks nice though. Yeah, but huh? here's the problem. What? I love how it's sunk filling, in a little. The filling is not quite set enough. Undercooked? We don't have that. Yeah. I'm curious loose. to see how set yours is because yours went a little longer. Maybe we want to hold back a little heavy cream. Oh, that, that looks good though. Um, yours almost looks a little more set. You think so? Well, let's taste them and see. Well, here we go. This is a delicious pumpkin pie. I do want it a little more set. More set. Do you set. think if it was cold, it would set yeah, more? Yeah, I Because I like, do like pumpkin pie Because like all that butter fat in the cream will firm up. Let's try this one. This is one where we added the little bit of brown sugar to I it. didn't get a whole pecan either in, mm. the, in the bite. I think that's actually good. It's real good. The pecan mixture. It's really delicious. With the pumpkin is, I definitely don't want more pecan. It's one of my favorite pies. Of all time. Mm. I think we have to take out a little liquid and we're golden. Yeah, and you think that'll help it have that little more of a set? Yeah. I mean, it definitely held, look, there's no- It'll just make it less liquidy. There's no cut belly as I, I'm gonna start right. calling it. There's all no right. what? Gut? Cut, cut belly. Cut belly? Like, you belly? know, you cut it and then it like bloop. Uh-huh. Forms like a little belly if it's not set. A little yeah. cut belly, I uh -huh. just made it up, Claire, roll it. <laughs> okay, great, we have to get started because we have to get this pie in the oven in the next hour and 25 minutes. 
All right, let's do it. I looked back at a reference recipe of a pumpkin pie that I did, and we had a lot more egg proportionate to each pie. So we're going to add a couple eggs. And you think that'll help with the setting, the Definitely. nice custardy yeah. that we were just this, lacking a little in, yeah. that, in that other pie? In addition to the backing off the cream by half ounce. and adding four tablespoons butter, we're going to add two eggs, six eggs, two whole yolks. Boop, boop, boop. Here's all the spices and salt. It's a five speed, Claire. <laughs> Looks great. Yeah, it looks really good. I'm a little worried about time. We're doing, yeah, we're considering under, the whole cherry pie. True. Curveball. We're under the gun, so is that the phrase? Under the knife. Oh, uh, under the knife would just be surgery, right? <laughs> <laughs> we have to t bake off a test batch just to confirm that this filling is right where we want it to be. So I'm just right, gonna you're pour. Confident. Let me get you a little agua. We'll do that after. Yeah, you can just pour it around it. So I think we're just gonna bake off this much. It was about a half cup. Oh, you pour boiling water in. Yeah just to bring it up and then so it doesn't there, get hotter. Ready to go, ready yeah. to party. So this will bake quickly. I like that. And then good good we, tip, Claire. This is the dough that we made last thing before we went home looks yesterday. Great. Look at the color of this crust. Looks I love awesome. I love the, the color. The butter looks so good. And cold. it got so firm. All right, great. Into the fridge, oh, Dano. All right, that was great. I feel really yeah, good yeah, about that, that dough seems Spirits like Spirits are better today. I was in a dark dough. place yesterday. I know. I'm not used to that, Brad. Usually it's such a positive me attitude. So let me back up and just say what we're doing. We are making two half sour cherry pies. Half sour saffets pies. Half sour cherry pies to bring in our competition. And we haven't decided yet who's entering the cherry and who's entering the pumpkin. But Basically, I think that two people should enter two different pies to maximize our chances of collectively winning. Anyway, I actually recently pitted and froze a bunch of sweet and sour cherries from the market, which I just had left over from a project. Oh, so I brought those in. Rhoda's gonna supplement with a couple extras and we're gonna make a cherry pie. So, blind bake bottom crust, cherry right. filling goes in, crumble topping. Sounds like you got a game plan. I got a game plan. <laughs> just follow my lead. Clearly this, you know, we're, it's all about the pumpkin pie at the end of the day, you know, for Thanksgiving, you know, that's what we're doing. We're not going to show up with a cherry pie at Thanksgiving. We're going to show up with our pecan pumpkin pie hybrid. But this is just, you know, if we're going to go out to this competition, we might as well bring a little ace What do they say? Don't bring a knife to a gunfight? Is that how it goes? Yeah, don't bring, exactly. Same, yeah, we're on the same page. Okay. In between, it probably isn't going to do anything, but maybe it does something great. Like, you know, like a little pottery, like. What are you doing? Claire, don't worry about it. This one's mine. They have to be identical. Oh, they do? Easy fix. I thought it'd be cool if I might do like weird things. I yeah, forgot that's, they had to be identical. You wanted to do weird things. I'm afraid it's going to do weird things. Well, Claire, that's the difference between you and I. <sighs> so many differences. What time is it? 11.30. Oh, my God. We're, up, we're behind. <laughs> we're blind taking the crust now. All right, here we go. What are we doing? Making I, circles? I, I just... Oh, yeah, you're done. You make it, up. Yeah. Claire's got it so long. I'm, I'm on my own. So, uh, really? Roll, roll it out into a circle. Thanks, Claire. Throwing bows, Claire? <laughs> Sorry. It's just pie. Mine's a square. Brad, oh my god, it's like a perfect square. Brad. I wasn't trying to. You know, you just jumped in there, you got all mad, you left me behind. You didn't say anything. I wasn't looking over at what you were doing. I'm concentrating on myself. Okay, beautiful. Into the freezer. Into the freezer. Put this okay. one in the fridge now. <laughs> so this is a ramekin of this filling that we just made. And we baked it in a water bath so it didn't overcook, but we also then undercooked it. And well, that's fine. Let's eat from the sides. We're going to try it. It's, it might be a little loose. Yeah. I love the flavor. It has that like silky sheen that yeah. you kind of want in it. Yeah. I think if this was cooked a little bit more, it would be perfect. Me too. We're going to go with that filling. No changes. We're going to get the cherry pie crust in the oven. Great. Normally we'd go over to the board and write all this out and yeah, document the, the decisions, but our flight is in five hours and we haven't gotten the pies in the oven, so we're skipping that step. We got to move. Okay, let's get two more cheat trays ready to go with foil. <laughs> All right, Fred, make sure this All right, is, sorry, sorry. Make sure that's really in there. I'm going to go in that oven. You're going to go in the wall oven. Where am I going, Claire? I wasn't paying attention. In the wall oven, upper wall oven. So 
in the ovens we have four pie crusts. They're all, all the crusts. They're all the crusts. They're all blind baking. Two plain crusts for the cherry, two rye for the pumpkin. And now we just have to wait. We could toast the pecans. We can toast the pecans. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do everything we can. Okay. How much time? No idea. Okay, we're good. I have no idea what's going on. All Everyone's right. running around like crazy people. Create a sense of urgency. Ooh, though, this looks great. I'm getting a nice little browning around the edge. I didn't get any color. I'm not done right now. All right, so put yours back in. Okay. This is the rye crust. Ooh, this is looking real good, though. Put it back Mine's in the oven. Under Put it back in the oven. Get it back in, get it back in, it'll die. Pies are a lot of damn work. A lot of work. I don't know what I'm I hope people like. realize that. Brad had to take a phone call, so now I'm responsible for, for all four crusts, which are all at different stages of doneness. First, I'm gonna move it down the line. First, I'm gonna take out his cherry pie crust and remove the weights. Jesus Christ, this thing is heavy. Okay, next I'm gonna egg wash the bottom of the rye. Uh, I'm gonna leave it in a few more minutes, but I'm gonna egg wash the bottom of my cherry crust. They're all important. I love all my pies equally. Now, now let's look at, this is Brad's rye crust. I'm so confused, but these are baking so differently. Egg wash this guy. So the crust started to puff up a little bit. I'm just pressing it down. I got real stressed out. Wow. Oh, did you? I had just to, now? I was managing four crusts. So where are we at? Catch me up to speed. Besides the, how dark the edge is, they're looking really good. Today, baby. That does not look like the rye crust. Well, then this so is one. that? Be, is right? that the this right? Like That's either. not the right crust either. Maybe? The, yeah, look at the brand. Okay, good. I'm relieved. Well, why is yours taking so long to color? All right, I think this guy's done. Yep. So this is for cherry pie. It's looking very nice. There, what do you think about this one? Oh, yeah, egg wash. You're egg ready. Wash? Yep. That's pretty good. That'll be ready soon, yeah. Smells good. All right. One coat. Now I'm just looking to set that up. Yep, that's it. All right, good things are happening over here. And now we're going in with the filling. We're gonna pour it in. All right, this looks so good. Yeah, it does. Nice volume. Ooh, nice little swirl. I mean, it's cooking, look. Yeah, I would, I would egg wash it. Egg wash it. good. Washing, locking. We're just raising time now. All right, Brad, I got a surprise for you. We're gonna put a layer of almond paste underneath the cherries. Okay, also, before I don't wanna get too wrapped up with this. I, I don't wanna burn mine. Does it see? Does it look as chaotic as it feels? Yes. It feels very chaotic. Ooh, wanna look at this one real quick? Yeah. We're filling. We're filling, baby. <laughs> there, what do you think? Ready for filling? Not yet. Maybe another minute, and then you're good. Brett, filling time. Tell me when. Nice. God damn it to hell. Brett, we don't have time for this. All right, going in. Brad. Here. Brad? What? This is the rye. Why didn't you say anything? Oh, yeah, it's no. I didn't even hear you. No one will even know. Wait a minute. This looks speckly. Yeah, that's the rye crust. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so that one's cherry. Well, it's cherry with rye crust. Listen, no one's gonna know at the. At the, at the <laughs> Everyone's gonna know because they're filming this one. It was my fault. I was not listening to you at all. Okay, so we have two that are correct. Everything's yeah. gonna be fine except it's the wrong crust, and it's for it's for, it's not well, for not Thanksgiving. It's for it's crust. for charity. All right, let's fill them with I cherry. All right, this is the sweet and sour cherry pie filling. What's the little coating we got, Claire? Sugar, cornstarch, some warm spices, almond extract, vanilla extract, lemon zest, salt. I think that's all. So it's all ready to go because we have no time to spare. And then this is the crumble. Oh. Is this, so I'm gonna fill this. We're gonna have some leftover filling because this is not, you know, this is a pretty small pie plate. I think that's a good amount, right? All right, crumble, I'm putting on the crumble topping. So there's oats, flour. We put some sliced almonds with keeping with the almond theme. Oh, you're going big. Yeah. I think something kind of tall might be impressive to the judges. See, this I get along, I do well with, with old ladies. Uh-huh, so I can totally see that. We're gonna, like, you know, like a grandma's you're or whatever. You're gonna sweet talk a little. So I'm just gonna have to, we're gonna have to get in their heads a Turn little. Turn on the charm. We'll dose them. I think it's ready. In. Let's look at it together. So just gonna let that hang out? I want it to overcook, yeah. Let's check the rest. Okay. These are, these are, I know these aren't done, but let's we'll look at yours. One. Yeah, oh no, you got, we got plenty of time on that. 300 on this? Yeah. <laughs> Please don't rush, we, we, we have time, we can't afford mistakes, let's just all I relax. I know, I know, it's true, every mistake happens when you're rushing. Always, Claire, OSHA. <laughs> I kind of like this soup. All right, 
Also, we don't have time, Brad. Claire, time moves with the energy that you put out there. I don't get it. You think it looks terrible. No, I do. I like it. Look, I don't love the amount of liquid. The pecan should kind of be like just an even coat. Just of... an accent? But those opinions went right out the window. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's check the other ones. All right, so these look good. The crumble is browning. We might want to tent the top of the crumble with foil at some point, too. All right, they're going. <laughs> Oh, good fun. I feel like I'm not being taken seriously. So I feel pretty good about the pumpkin pie here. Brad, we're going to be here forever. No, this is going to happen quick. She's so pretty. Right? I think it's a she. This pie looks like a winner, a real beaut. Not at all. chip off some of that No, 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 darkness. leave that. That's beautiful. So this is the one with the rye crust. So this is our double rye pumpkin pie, and this is gonna be the one that's gonna be entered in the contest. But basically, we need two pies to enter. One is gonna be judged, and the other one is gonna be auctioned off to benefit- To the 4-H club. To the 4-H club. For the kids. For the children. I don't feel confident about the pie with respect to the competition, because who knows, but aside from that, feel proud of this end result. It's so pretty. No, I love our pies. This one and the, the other pumpkin that we have. Forget the competition. I think this is a great Thanksgiving pie. I do too. The fruit pies take a little bit longer, so really we're just hanging out until we have to leave for the airport. Yeah, it's pumpkin pie, bro. Have you ever been to Thanksgiving? Ooh, this pie caught a little. Caught? As they say. Oh, the English. Yeah. I'm just gonna throw this out there, Claire. Yeah. I know this wasn't the original game plan, and because your beautiful crust kind of gets hidden, Yeah. I think we stand think a chance with the reds. The reds, it breaks the, like this, yeah. Look I this. like yours better. Do you? Competition. Do you? Yeah, I do. It looks better. Boom! Competition one, who cares about Denver? <laughs> so we're, we're gonna submit this one to the competition and that one. Okay, yeah. Who's this, who, sh who submits what? I think because you made this one and I made that one, I'll submit pumpkin, you submit cherry. Okay, you cool. win with cherry, <laughs> The hundred dollar prize. Split, will you split the hundred dollars? No, we're you? gonna donate it to the kids if I'm good. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we gotta do this. Just kind of fold it up. Okay. Kind of thing. Okay. Right. Uh huh. Once we're sure they're fully cool, we oh, should yeah. wrap. We should wrap this in plastic. Seventy-five dollars. So these pies are nice and cool. We gotta leave here in like twenty minutes. Hit to get to the airport so we can get to Denver. Let's box these up and. Uh, Hit the road, huh? All right, so there we made it. Beautiful Colorado. We're at the Adams County Fair. Pies made the flight. Here we are. Safe and sound, just like the two of us. <laughs> All right, beautiful day. Let's go meet up with Gloria. We'll yeah. drop our pies off. And we'll check the fair yeah, out, you know? we to get these officially submitted this way. Following you, Claire. Okay. We're a little under the wire. Yeah, we're under the knife. The cutoff time is... <laughs> is that a petting zoo? Oh, look at the That's goats. That's where we're going. How you doing, Gloria? Hey, how are you? Brad. Brad. Nice to meet you. Hi, Claire. Hi, Gloria. Nice to meet you. Yeah, Same thanks for here. meeting with us. Pretty excited for the uh, the old pie competition. We might, we might have a couple pies. winners, not sure. Pretty I neat. heard about the pies going across <laughs> the, the airplane. These are Something gonna be like good that. pies, right? Yeah, you better hope so. Oh. Yeah. Fingers yeah. crossed. How long have you been a part of this pie competition in the fair? Well, the fair has been in existence over a hundred years. We've only had the pie competition for three years. Oh, wow. okay. And I was the original organizer and still doing it. All right, holding yeah. it down. But the contest has doubled in size. So who has to taste all of the 70 pies? We have a panel of judges. Uh -huh three judges per age group. Judges are primarily mayors of different municipalities oh, cool. in the area, county commissioners, a district court judge, and some locals. Judging the crust, the consistency of the filling, flavor of the crust, the flavor of the filling, and how the two combine. Each judge has a score sheet. They'll judge each pie. Then the three score sheets are put together total. It's an exciting We're day. So <laughs> Fun. Well, let's drop these yeah, off. Yeah. These. Clock deadline. Over to the, the exhibit building. Great. Follow me. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, uh, hey. Should have brought a better hat, huh? <laughs> Man. <laughs> no, you look so lovely in it. <laughs> yeah. Who's is it? I don't know. It's gonna fit my big head. Oh, I do well with, with old ladies. We'll give it a shot. I won't be rude. Yay! Oh, now we're in. Oh, look at that. Oh, my name is Brad Leone. 
L E O N E. Anybody ever drop their pie walking down the line here, slipped off the table? So. Oh, I don't think so. so. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's winning right there. All right, yours made it safe. Yep. I'm nervous. <laughs> Well, let's check the pair out and uh, kill a little time before, uh, before, before we start judging. Corey, thank you so much. Yeah, thank You're you. Welcome. And we'll see you, we'll see you in a little we'll bit. We'll see you at four. Yeah. See you at four. Sure. Have fun. I'll be early. <laughs> um, can I have three egg rolls, please? Yeah, sure. Veggie, can I heat the change? Is there a pocket that change? Can we look at the fudge? I mean, get yourself a little fudge, a little fudge cone. Never a dill moment. Yeah, cool Cajun. It's not hot. That's why it says cool on it. Dill one is good. Delish. I think I need more money, Dan. Dad, <laughs> what happened to the money I gave you? It's not enough. Come on, Dad. Well, thank you again. Thank you very much. Enjoy, enjoy this. Day. Like, cheers. Cling. How's it going? Hello. Just wanted to feed some of your fine animals here. Sure. Dad, excuse me. Dollars. Excuse me. Oh, big guy. Oh He's like, God. feed me. Won't bite my phone now. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> They're serious in there, the whole staff, yeah. not messing around. We got a copy of the score sheet that the judges fill out. It's very official. We're and going... Gloria was so nice, she's gonna let us grade our own pie. <laughs> okay, filling has a pleasant flavor, a oh, pleasing flavor. Not flat, too sweet, or too tart. Pleasant aftertaste. Nine. Crust has a rich, blended flavor of well-baked ingredients. The rye. Nine. Appropriate amount of filling to crust. I think like eight. Fine. Here's the last category for the final 50% of the competition. Pleasant overall taste with crust and filling complementing each other. Yeah, nailed that. So yeah, 10, 10 15, 20, 30. I'm gonna say 25. I know it's not an option. Okay, all right, let's total it up. 81.5 out of 100. Better than I did in school. I mean, that's a B minus. Yeah, we'll take it. It's an A in my book. <laughs> I it, did much better than that in school. Well, Claire. All right, 81.5. We make a good team then. Do you think we're gonna get a better score than what we gave ourselves from the judges? I hope so. <laughs> I hope so too. We scored below 80. Yeah? Then I, don't know. Then I gotta get my book deal back. <laughs> if we're below 80. We just were informed that our pie was taken over to the judges' table and is about to be tasted and scored. I have, a stomach, I have a stomach ache. I'm so nervous. Wait, here comes. You can't, here. don't stare, don't stare. I get really competitive and really nervous. This is why I should never compete, because I go psychotic. <laughs> I'm too nervous to look. They're like passing it around. But it looks, it looks delicious. It look when it, it almost looks like a cool. I can't really see if there's like a lot of liquid in it. It is like having three Christmas Rossos taste your no, pie. No, no, it's not soupy. It's the bottom oh, looks you just, nice. You're a casual. Look, see over there. I threw something away. There, give me a fifty. <laughs> Dan. Damn, we need a fifty. No, no, it's just a clean game. Clean game. No bribing. Judges are done. They're gonna pick the winners. Right. Maybe we'll be one of them. And there's a, well, a first, second, and third. I think is the is the bracket. Okay. Uh -huh. And uh, I think we have a pretty good chance, Claire. But you know, let's uh, the judges. They know what they're doing. Let's um, well, what's the matter? We just gotta wait and see. I'm oh. nervous. But there's like, you know, a fairly big crowd here all waiting for the auction and they have their paddles ready to go. I feel great about our pies. I mean, we did our best under the circumstances we had. Oh, quiet on set, please. <laughs> I know. Adults, 19 to 59. Our third place winner goes to, and I'll probably really mess up this name. Mitzi Weyenbach. Mitzi. 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 Okay, our second place in the young adults goes to Judy Quilch. Quilch, Judy. And our first place winner in the young adults goes to Sarah West. I got text Rhoda. Sarah Rhoda. We did not all caps. And the prettiest pie in the Prettiest pie goes to Heidi McNeely. Right. Heidi McNeely. Yes. Update, we did not win. We, we, did, not we win. did not place. We didn't even get prettiest pie. I'm upset and happy at the same time. I didn't necessarily want to win. I mean, actually, it's not sure I did want to win. I didn't want to win the whole time. Inside, I'm like, our pie was really good. I think I... at least third place, maybe? Mm, nothing. 
But hey, you know what? In the big picture, yeah. I'm kind of glad because like yeah. I kind of would feel like a jerk like if we yeah, like if we like won. We're interlopers. It's kind of like a double-edged sword because like yeah. after all that, like we should have won. You I know? know. I feel worthless. Also, I need a turkey leg. It's gonna make me feel better. You ate a turkey leg. <laughs> no, I need one. No, we, losers don't get turkey legs. Or an egg roll. I can't believe how many pies I made in my life. We didn't even place. Didn't world stand. class. Pumpkin pie was world class, Claire. I've had a lot of pumpkin pie, and I love pumpkin pie. Forget the cherry pie, I didn't even want to do that. Yeah. This was about pumpkin pie, all right? We came to a fruit competition with a pumpkin <laughs> pie, okay? Oh, we didn't win, really? So let's let's just focus on what we came okay. here to do. Okay. Quiet on set, please. We have the final meal to prepare for. Thanksgiving. We're gonna rally all the troops in Cape Cod, so I'm gonna head there from here. You go to Cape Cod, do your thing. I'll meet up with the rest of the gang, and we'll, uh, we'll meet you up there. No rush. We'll be there exactly when we said we're gonna be there. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Ooh. Happy Cheers. Thanksgiving oh, yeah. in Hawaii. Thanksgiving. We're gonna be in a hot kitchen Thanks, cooking on a beautiful yeah. summer day. Woo! Oh, Chris, we, we don't- We gotta get going. Do we have to what? do stuff? Yeah, we gotta do stuff. I'm actually really hungry. 